Hi, I'm Rick from Marinth Models. In this video I'm going to show you how to calibrate the DT7 transmitter from DJI. This is important to do as this is the same radio that you'll get in virtually all the Phantom models um, and of course if you're using the separate DT7 for one of the NASA flight controllers it's important that you calibrate the transmitter first before you do any kind of setup and calibration on the model whether that be a flame wheel with a NASA controller or certainly any of the uh, Phantoms. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is you need to download the uh, NASA RC Assistant software from uh, DJI's website. If you go to the DJI website, uh, the best thing to do is just to search, if I scroll up, uh, search for the product itself. So in this case, we're actually just looking at the NASA Lite, but you go for the uh, all products that come up, scroll down, look for the radio. There we go, DT7 radio, and then just click on downloads, and then you will see, um, certainly the manual, although the DT7, if you buy it separately, actually comes with a manual, um, so you don't have to download that, but if you've got it with your Phantom, it's a handy thing to have. Uh, but basically what you're looking for is that one there, for Windows, or if you're using Mac, uh, DT Assistant Software 1.1, download that. Also, download this, the DJI WinDriver installer. A lot of people have connection problems with DJI products, especially flight controllers, and simply this has not been downloaded and installed separately. So once you've uh, downloaded and installed that, you basically have that on the icon. So if we just boot that up, you will get this page. So the first thing you need to do, of course, is uh, using the either the USB cable that comes with your Phantom or the USB cable that comes with your Assistant software. So that first of all, that'll get actually plugged, plugged into the small port on the bottom of the transmitter. Now, if you have an, uh, if you have a Phantom FC40, this socket is in fact inside, uh, inside the actual transmitter, so you do have to take it apart. However, on the FC40, is it doesn't have things like a gimbal, etc., you don't really need to do any of this. But certainly on all the other Phantom models, it's worth doing. So you just plug that into the bottom. And then, basically, if I twiddle the sticks now, get that in shot, um, you'll see all the cursors moving. So really all we're doing here is a calibration. So the first thing you need to do is to click on the calibration button there. Now, it's different from the Phantom Assistant, is you have to actually click it twice. So you click it, basically it will come up and tell you what to do, but you need to press next to actually get it to work. So obviously you just calibrate your sticks in a circular motion. Now, another important one is you'll be doing the trim lever on the back. Put that into shot. You want to, very important to do this. A lot of people that have phantom tilting gimbal problems, like on the new uh, three-axis gimbal, is usually because this has not been calibrated in the NAS Assistant software. So there's the X1 channel there. So basically, turn that round. Uh, go basically full forward, full back. Now you'll notice the cursor doesn't move very much, but you're telling the assistant that is all that it will be moving. And then when you're done there, click on finish. Now you'll notice on the X1 channel, now we're going full thousand value both ways. Now if you don't get the th full thousand value, basically just run the assistant again because you need that for later on. So um, that is basically how to uh, calibrate your DT7 radio or your phantom transmitter that comes with your model. Uh, important to do this before you actually uh, set up your phantom properly.